all right guys welcome back to my channel this is shanike thank you so much for joining me now we're in my bedroom and today we are organizing my closet and my drawers since i had watched the um marie kondo i hope i pronounced that right on amazon i've been folding my clothes and my drawers um this way from ever since so let me show you guys um what my room looks like my drawers are technically very untidy so i'm going to show you guys how i fold my underwears yeah i'm getting up close and personal with you guys my underwears and some other drawers that have my gym clothes and so on so follow me on sk market if you haven't already um i post a lot of good stuff on there so right now i have some shoes on there and i have some home decor stuff that you guys can cop so um come let me show you what's going on in here all right you guys so this is what my drawers look like right now so i'm going to be organizing some of these drawers i have like my um my sports bra and sewing in here um i have this other drawer with some things in there i need to throw away some more stuff that i don't wear um those are old clothes um this is my underwear drawer as you can see it's very untidy this is my gym clothes drawer um t-shirts and so on and so forth in here and down here i have my swimsuit drawer i don't know if i'm going to be organizing this today but um yeah this is what my swimsuit drawer looks like um over here i have some clothes on the bed because i did some laundry yesterday while the sun was out so i have all of these to put away and in here is my closet and my closet is way better organized because here the jeans them can fold up better and under there i have like my sweatpants them also under this other throw down all right guys so first and foremost what i'm going to do i'm going to take everything out of the drawers and put them on the bed like why is that dog why is that dog coming for me that's the method that i use to fold leggings and so on and is that i just spread it out on the bed like this and uh, i just even it up and straighten out what needs to be straightened out fold it in like this both ways the crotch area i'll pin it inside a little bit and then what i'll do is just fold up fold up and then this is what it looks like So this is my folding method and when i put them in the drawer they'll look something like this so i don't necessarily always um like color coordinate or anything like that so what i do just go in and pop them in and you can already see the amazing organization that i have going on here personally i feel like this method allows a lot more space as opposed to like um what's it called just folding them and stuck stacking them on top of each other and another thing that i noticed too when i fold my clothes and put them in the drawer like this i get to see every single thing that i have so um and that's one of the challenges that we have all the time that when we fold our clothes and stack them we can't see what we have in our drawers so I really, really love this method. Um, it very much works for me, and I'm sure it will work for you guys too. I wanted to show you guys how I fold my shirts. The shirts that I put in my drawer, I, I fold them separate and differently from how I fold the ones I'm not put in my closet. So these shirts I put in my drawer because I wear them to the gym. So what I do is fold the shirt in two, like this and then I pull to the middle like this and just tuck the sleeves in and then I'll do boom 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 and this is the fold and it sits up like this because like I was telling you guys um 
put in the clothes like this, you get to see everything that you have in your closet. So that's what's up. Moving on to the next one. Fold it in like this. And I'm making sure that they're even as much as possible. Then I pull it to the middle. Fold the sleeve in. And it doesn't matter the size of the shirt, whether it is oversized or smaller. I do the same thing. Boom, 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 boom. And I apply similar method to like sleeveless shirts. So like these type of sleeveless shirts, I still apply similar method to it. So I open it up like this. Fold it to the middle, just the same. But what I'll do, I'll tuck this in like that. I'll tuck it in like this. And then I'll fold in the side. And then I'll do boom 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 very similar see that Alright guys, so I'm moving on to the underwears. I'm just going to show you guys how I fold my underwear. Um, I don't usually get up close and personal like this with you guys, but I really want to show you guys how I fold my underwears. Alright, so I'm showing you guys a brand new underwear, one that I haven't worn yet. Yes, so no judgment in my comments. So I open it up like this. I tuck the when I'm saying crutches, <laughs> I tuck it in like this, and then I go across like that, and like that, and then fold it, and I tuck it in just like this. So it sits like that in my drawer. Now for the bigger underwears, what I do is uh, I call these the period underwears. <laughs> what I do is the same thing. I just tuck the crotch here in both sides both sides and then i fold it like this and then just like that All right guys, so I'm finally done with my drawers and I'm going to show you guys the closet now, um, how I fold the shirts that I normally wear all the time. All right, so I know a number of you guys have seen my, how I turned my tiny closet into a walk-in closet video. If you've not seen that video yet, be sure to check it out. I'll link it right here for you guys to watch. All right, you guys see how over here is so messy? So I have a system here where I normally like fold my shirts like it's in a department store. I really love how that looks. Um, so I'm taking all of these out because why not? All right, so the technique that I normally use to fold my shirts, I have a t-shirt on the face and you can take like a a piece of cardboard or something like that that has a rectangular shape or something like that to help to give the shirt the shape and also just to put it into the center so that when you fold the shirt in on both sides for the sleeve it comes right across like that just tuck that in there boom 
um, you can fold it this big like that or you can do it smaller I don't mind it being smaller so I'll go here sorry I'll go here and then I'll just slide this out from underneath and this is my shirt You'll see that they are the same size technically when you do that. Alright guys, I'm finally done organizing my drawers and reorganizing my closet. This would have been either smooth feeling, but yes. Yeah. Alright guys, this is my undergarment drawer. And as you can see how I fold my rods, um, anything with a sponge or cuff or a wire, then I fold them like this and put them in one section. I have so much more underwears than undergarments, you guys, but I have a lot of them also in the wash. As you can see, I like to color coordinate when it comes down to my underwear. So white with white, blacks, and my gym clothes. These are just some of my gym clothes. Um, my gym pieces and also some of my shirts as I wear to the gym or I wear around the house. And down here I have my swimwear so I just technically organize over my swimwear and um, I keep adding more and more swimwear to the pile that like I don't feel like I want to throw away anything or give away anything and then over here remember how over here was looking um, it now looks like a department store just the way I like it um, so everything is organized and um, properly folded. Um, I have my jeans down here properly folded as well. And I also have my skirts and some um, laundry, my sweatpants and so on is under there. These are methods that you can use in your home to make your space a lot more organized, especially when it comes to your clothes and your underwear. And then a lot of the times we don't know what or how to fold our clothes to make it look more appealing or not to allow like some of your clothes to get lost in all the pile of the clothing that you have the clothes that you have so it's a good way to like organize and fix them up and let everything show and i love these are my favorite method um method big up marie kondo because she took this whole organizational um, thing to another level so I really really love these methods and I hope you guys will utilize them in your home so on that note thank you so much for watching this video until next time don't forget to subscribe I'll catch you in the next one bye bye